Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about area under the normal curve number two. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. So a normal variable x follows a normal distribution such that probability of x between 9.6 and 13.8 inclusive is 0 0.7008 and probability of x greater or equal to 9.6 is equal to 0.8195. Find the mean and the variance. And now from earlier, we have done the work and we have found out that area to the left of unknown Z1, standard normal variable is 0 0.1805 and area to the right of Z2, standard normal variable unknown is 0 0.1187. Now Z1 corresponds to, uh, corresponds to the random variable 9.6 and Z2 corresponds to the random variable 13.8. In order to find Z1, we will use calculator TI-84. We will do second verse three and the area to the left of the unknown Z1 is 0 0.1805, mean is zero, standard deviation is one. And we paste enter and enter, we get the value of Z1 is minus 0.9135. This is the standard normal variable corresponding to the random variable x of 9.6. Uh, to find z2, we know the area to the right, but the calculator takes area to the left. Total area under the curve is one. So area to the left of the unknown z2 is one minus area to the right, which is one minus 0.1187, which is 0.8813. Again, we will use second verse three in TI-84 calculator. Area to the left is 0 0.8813. Mu is zero, sigma is one because it is a standard normal variable. And we get Z2 is 1.1815. This is a standard normal variable corresponding to 13.8. Now we write the equation for Z1 and we know Z1 is minus 0.9135 and it corresponds to the random variable 9.6 minus mu divided by sigma. We do use the definition of the standard normal variable. Now, if we simplify this equation, we will get an equation for mu as 9.6 plus 0.9135 sigma, okay? Similarly, we substitute the value of Z2, which is 1.1815, and it corresponds to a random variable value 13.8. So we have 1.1815 is 13.8, minus mu divided by sigma. Mu and sigma are both unknown. Again, we simplify and get an equation for mu from this relationship as 13.8 minus 1.185 sigma. Now, since both of, you know, if you look at equations one and two on the left-hand side of the equal to sign, we have mu. Since the left-hand sides are equal, we can equate the right-hand sides and we will get 9.6 plus 0.9135 sigma is equal to 13.8 minus 1.1815 sigma. Now we move all the sigmas to the right hand, le yeah, left hand side, and we get 1.1815 times sigma plus 0.9135 sigma is equal to 13.8 minus 9.6, or 2.095 times sigma is equal to 4.2 we divide by 2.095 on both sides to get sigma as 4.2 divided by 2.095 as 2.005. So what is the variance? Variance is the square of the standard deviation. So it is 2.005 and then we press the X square button in the first column of TI-84 keys and we get the exponent two and hit enter, sigma square is 4.02. Now, we can take this sigma value of 2.005 and plug it into the equation, first equation for mu, which is 9.6 plus 0.9135 sigma. So we are plugging in the value of sigma, we get 9.6 plus 0.9135 times 2.005. So mu is 11.43. So the mean is 11.43 and the variance is 4.02 of the random, very normal random variable X. If you have any question, you can write me a comment and I will respond to you. You can also send me an email. I have my email also. 
uh, and please subscribe to my channel and uh, by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen okay bottom right corner of the screen thanks for watching take care and i will see you next time take care